Well, hello, Kurt. Good morning, Dr. Brad. It's always a great pleasure to share your company, sir. You too. I didn't ceremoniously clean my coffee cup this morning, so I'm a little embarrassed to use it on screen. Me too. Um... That's a little dribbles around it here. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, so we're, I'm not alone. <laughs> we're there's in, a clean in, one in the your company. I'm sure there's a clean one in the dishwasher because the dishwasher's clean. So uh, I'll sneak out the first when I get my. Oh, phone. you have a spare one, huh? I have a no. I have two. Yeah, I've been trying to buy them, but oh, the, I don't know if I told you this. So these are extremely high quality cups. Th this this one, right? Sure. Yeah, they're they're high, um, and they're made by. And what ha what has happened over the uh, Chinese decades? is the two companies that produce high quality stoneware in America have basically gone out of business. And so if you want this kind of stuff, you have to buy them used until somebody comes up. Well, I'm like, I, I don't fucking get it. There's room for high. I mean, if you look at the, you know, you get the, you go to uh, uh, your usual, um, what do you call them? Not cafe or cafeteria, but you know, what's the other word for it? Diner. Diner. They have these cups that are really thick, and they have a little bowl in them. Okay, that's that was designed uh, for those kind of places, and it's that that stuff is indestructible, right? But what I like about them is they have mass, right? It's a manly thing, right? They have mass. I'm not afraid I'm going to man break it or man tip it over or man spill it, right? Because it's got enough mass to to realize it's there, and right, um, so. So uh, so I, I did my research on this because it's very frustrating. Well, it turns out that um, that that there are company there is one company that still makes something a, a, approximately this. And the trick is, as we've talked about, is you need the mass, the lip, mm -hmm. the handle, and the right. size. Getting all of those, it's just not really impossible. It's not hard. I mean, come on, guys. Well, there must be some cost associated with producing because these were not cheap. I don't remember what they were, but they were, I don't know. They were like fifteen or twenty dollars. I mean, they were expensive. Um, but you can order the ten ounce ones and twelve ounce ones, but you can't get these fifteens. Hmm. So you know, we're this is like this is one of those things. If I'm going to do an institute coffee cup, it I has know. to be the best. That's right. Right. I can't just go with an ordinary coffee cup. That's just sinful. And it has to be man, man yes, size. All right. Now that I've had this serious conversation, we can I will introduce the episode. Okay. This is episode 2067, everybody. You know what you're supposed to do. So hit like, hit subscribe, notifications. Don't forget to leave the messages below. We love the messages. Somebody complained about the usual happens, the length of the video. And I'm like, do you know why we aren't banned? Why is that? Well, it's because nobody can watch the video. They can't tolerate it. Right? Nobody's going to sit there and screen two and a half, three hours of video. And they're not going to understand what the fuck we're talking about anyway. <laughs> it sounds like English, though. Really good. <laughs> So, so I'm like, you know, we can say, you know, it's like you, it's like ha having a, we well, just don't get in trouble. The other thing is, there's no like, especially because of you, or your influence. There's no hate coming across. Yes, uh, it might say it's a controversial thing, but it's not in the context. That's right. It's like as Brad, Brad said, it's not in the. It might be the con. It might be in the context of cause. It might be in the context of responsibility. But it's not in a context of blame. That's right. Un no unnecessary vilification. Yes. All well, the vilification I'm, is is that which is earned. Yes. Well, I mean, even then, you know, I mean, I'm always dissing on the Abrahamic religion. Oh, I'm dissing on hmm. uh, fundamentalism. It's not correct. I don't diss on religion. I just dis 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 on fundamentalism. And, um, well, even then, I mean, I'm not alone in that nonsense, and that's a choosable offense. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so uh, this is a new phase, right? Uh, our, Brad and I are beginning a new phase today, which is bringing the book together. 
because we've pretty much gone down. We've covered all the material uh, in, in interrogatively together. So that we've tried to find all the holes in it. And we've made sure we filled them. Now you might think that was we spent a year doing it. We with just doing that, right? Last summer, I was trying to basically go over the courseware with the beginning of the courseware with you. And then when I got ill, I just couldn't do it. And so we just work, started working through the, the information. So we spent essentially a year uh, working through the content one step at a time. Um, uh, Brad making fun of me and teasing me and being water on a rock the whole time. And then, yeah, you don't mind. I know you don't mind. You, he, he likes being right. It's okay. I let him be right. <laughs> um, so, uh, and so we've said, well, let's get the book done. And now I feel I can, because over that time, you've probably seen uh, me express a few revelations. Uh, some of them were how we present the data or the, the argument, which is the order in which we present the content, right? Uh, the second, um, uh, though there's a bunch of them in there, but the second big one was the male-female disambiguation, right? Right. The third one, uh, well, not in the order, was Brad laundering me of my anger so that the science would speak for itself. Right. And, um, oh, God, there was a bunch more in there. I just can't bring it off the top of my head right now. But these things have made it so that um, we have been able to produce a format that is quite simple for communicating the content, right? We feel like we can do that. Um, uh, the, so the, the, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna talk about how many models that we have to produce the content in and the state of each of those models. And then we're gonna talk about, and we're gonna start trying to bring it all together. Now, I have some trepidation about this. <laughs> uh, because I think the optimum way would be that if uh, Brad and I were in an office together and he was doing whatever he does, right? And I was able to ask him questions every 20 minutes. Um, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work on the, you know, in these sessions, but I'll get as much benefit as I can out of the, out of the sessions as possible. Do you understand what uh, I'm worried about, Brad? We call that experimental caveat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't know exactly what we're getting involved in here. And uh, it, it gets sloppy, kid. So just well, don't be it, expecting it, too much. Again, I mean, if you want to know the method, it's up there. You want to know what we start? I started with propertarianism. It's up there. Uh, if you want to know the the set, my uh my question of our choice, the choice facing us, the choice videos are up there, right? I mean, there's plenty of, there's, if you want to follow Brad and I through the majority of the work, uh, it's up there in our chat sessions. If you want to, if you want to follow the work we've done since then, that's in the chat sessions beginning last September over the past year. So, I mean, there's tons of vo volume up there. Um, but the reason we do this is partly documentation, right? I mean, it's not only, in other words, there's a value in producing the record of the, the intellectual development of the work, right? I mean, that's, that's why I keep all the old stuff up there in the archive, even though some of it's ridiculous, because, I mean, it was obviously my early thought. So there's value in it. So we've got the audience who's following us. It's people who are devoted. It's, you know. 500 people who are who are pretty interested because that's about the con that's a consistent number of people who who view this and um and so there's about that many there but you know in general if you're following what we're doing at this kind of stage you know you're watching the sausage get made so to speak Rough. right and so that that's what we do here Right. And uh, and so I can either Brad, I could either do this offline and the people wouldn't who are interested would have to wait. Right. Or they'd have to, or 
uh, they would uh, be able to go sideways because, right, because they are lacking the information, or uh, they can participate, which is what happens, because the amount of stuff that Brad and I talk about here realizes it gets into the system of the people who are, uh, you know, I, I, they're not really followers anymore. They're more like students, and there's some people that are, you know, fellow fellow researchers now. Or, um, and so uh, it gets into the system and they they push back and we discuss different topics and they become clarified. So it's just this online working process. So I've prever I've, I've sort of uh, done my preemptive uh, apologetics here so that people understand we're doing right? what I'm That's doing, right. what you and I are doing. That's right. Um, so. Uh, so that said, I'm not sure how well this medium works for this stage of the work, right? So we're gonna we're running an experiment to see how it works. I kind of my my intuition is more like I need this thing. Oh, I need a I need a chat window open with Brad and Martin and and Brandon uh, all day long. So I could just say, hey, what, what, the, what did we say about, you know, I mean, no, is this right? Do I remember this correctly? I mean, that's what I would like to have so that I could have the team access to the team constantly without being a constant draw on their attention. In other words, I'd like to be able to just, and I don't want to have to dial up every time and, you know, but that would be the ideal world. So if we, so, so if we had succeeded in putting together our, our, uh, our uh, group in a single building, which is what yes. we've been talking about. Yes. Um, and so that we can bring people into the environment, um, then that would be different. Uh, but we haven't. So I'm sort of in this predicament. So we're going to do the best we can, which is all we can do. Right. That's, That's not do. so very hard. But don't beat me up and say, you guys are not making it easy for you to follow. I mean, of course uh -huh. not. Wait for the goddamn book. All right. Now, can I share my screen? Of course. Okay, that's my apologies. I'm going to share my screen. We're over that part now. <laughs> you don't really know how. No, you guys models. don't know how uh, much time Brad spends admonishing me for giving a shit about anything. It's all right. Just, it's all very good. All right. So this is what we have to work with. We have the book outline. Now the book outline you've seen as what's consciousness. I'm doing a thing, I'm doing a thing on consciousness. Mm -hmm. um, why are you there? This is not one I want either. Where is it? I don't need to find each of it, David. I took care of that problem. Thank God. Where are you? There's oh, it's I'm I'm on the page. It's the being covered up by yeah. being covered by what is this? This zoom. All right. So we have the book outline. You've seen the uh the book outline, right? Right. Right. And that's every that's the kitchen sink. Right, I even have the conflict series in here. I have the constitution here. Uh, you know, I have the narrative in here. I even have the applying the law, like um, application of law, like all the 32, whatever they are, 132 major moral questions of the law that can be, that uh, are pre-answered so that people don't have to think them through. So this is the kitchen sink. Right, right, and we have uh, the Constitution, right? So yeah. we go right, and so we have the Constitution, the book outline, and we have the PowerPoint outline, right? I'm waiting for an acceptance from Brad. Yes. Right. 
So um, then we have about 20,000 other documents that have to be re reviewed. Some of them need to be archived and put away because they're wrong or they're excessively confusing or redundant. And some of them we just have to go through and say, okay, did we, did we address this? That's a cleanup operation. Right. Um, along the way, we're also we've also got to produce the sections of the website that conflict the uh, reflect that, and you'll see that over here. The science, right? The plan, the science, the law, the tech, um, and how to learn it, right? Okay. And I don't know why I don't have this as the first one, so I can find it. And then we have uh, the summaries, right? The summary of the ternary logic. This is like the append, the quick reference guide, right? It's just the statement of the logics. Now you've probably seen that in this kind of form, right? Or more explicitly in this kind of form, which is the list of the ternary logics, right? And then we want to take that and we want to turn that into posters. Right. Right. And so our big problem is we've got to unify these things. Now, Kurt, some people would say, well, Kurt, why don't you, why didn't you just do one at, one at a time? Well, I don't think like that. I think about the whole project. <laughs> what are all the deliverables and what deliverable can be moved forward? And then I reconcile the deliverables. I mean, that's just how I work. It's how I built software and engineering. So I, that's how it's how I do uh, just, uh, business strategies. Project management. It's just ordinary project management. Now, I, I used to tell people, well, <laughs> the way you do a painting, of course, is you make 10 fucking drawings of the goddamn thing. Then you do like 10 uh, color studies of it, right? And then, then you uh, start on the 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 background right the background then you add the reflective colors that need to come on top of the background and then you start adding uh layers on top of it until you're adding the fine detail and that depth is what creates the mystery of oil paintings is because you're actually seeing through all these layers that reflect light right and which of course you want to do is keep work like your eyes do which is there's only precision in this very little spot here and everything else is kind of fuzzy really um because but that's okay because that's just predictive modeling so you get that so the same thing is you want to make sure certain things like the eyes and the lips and the hands are maybe sometimes the hand but certainly the eyes and the lips are um eyes nose and lips this part of the face is highly rendered because that's what you want to draw the attention so you draw the attention well i mean what's the difference between making the painting doing and doing this i mean it's the same goddamn thing right? I mean, right when i said that in art school uh it was like i'd committed a sin because i'd equated art with every other kind of engineering and i'm like yeah i i did because it is <laughs> Just <a second. laughs> anyway yeah i can see those people not liking to hear they that don't like that because it needs to be spiritual and it needs to be emotional and whatever and i'm like if you think that you're not going to survive as an artist because about it's about making money with novelty Bing. <laughs> it's, it's no different from at&t trying to come out with a new phone that's, that's right fucking problem. <laughs> so i said there's too many people in the art community that are there for therapy because they can't tolerate the real world and they have to escape <laughs> anyway um at least fiction authors are honest about it right i mean that's right right science fiction fantasy you know uh, horror uh romance whatever i mean it's all escapism but at least the all those authors are honest what bothers me about uh visual artists is they usually lie <laughs> it's just escapism <laughs> anyway uh so, Brad. Yes, sir. Uh, given we have this, I'm just getting your opinion because we've talked about this. And we have this. Um, and 
we have uh, this. What I my view is, last time I talked, we should do it uh, bottom up, which is get the ternary logics and pull them over. And what's happened is every time I've done anything other than the book, whatever the format I start working in, it usurps my attention away from the book. And so I'm sitting here. I've, I've spent a lot of time over the past week thinking. I mean, thinking about this problem because I'm like, how am I going to? How, how am I going to do this overwhelming amount of work? Well, you know, it's not actually overwhelming. You know, because almost all of it's in the goddamn PowerPoint, right? I mean, right. All the bullet points are in the PowerPoint, and the ternary logic is captured in all these in in a couple of documents which are right next to each other here. I think I've got them. There's European Civ, that, and where's, where's nature? I have nature in here somewhere. You know, if we didn't write so much, this wouldn't be such a problem. Right. You know, you could you could have taken responsibility for that somehow. Could Can I blame it on you? You can do that if you choose. You don't. You're not going to let me get away with that. So, and okay, so here's, it's under the computation and the first principle. All right. So okay. my gut is, let's just move everything into the book. Everything that we need to deal with, with the with the, the summaries will fall out of that. Okay. All right. And we're going to get overwhelmed and forget what we're doing and get lost because there's so much material. Is that okay with you? Does that make sense? I'd like you to, I want you to think about that and give me some feedback because I think that's the right we're answer. Gonna, we're we're going to pull matter from the um the PowerPoints into the book is what you're just telling me. That's my inter interpretation of what you said. From everything into the book. Uh, okay. I put it into the, the book, which is, is this, um the book is, where is it being, where is it going to be constructed? Well, it's right here, right? All I do is hit edit. Okay. Okay. That's what I thought, but I'm just making sure I understood it. So it's, um, yeah, that, it's on the website then. Right. It's, it's always, you know, I don't, I, this is don't make it lie. It's not like I'm trying to make money at selling a book. I'm trying to get the world to change. I don't care about the fucking money. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> What money? I'll just do my business. All right. See, man. So it's stated as declaratives. Right. Right. So my view is we have um, we have this lined out, right? We have this outlined flawlessly, really. Um, and uh. I had originally thought we should put the summary up here. And I, uh, I, I'd like to still hope we can do that. Right. And then we okay. have like, so here's, here's the great part. Here's where we start out with, you know, spin. Um, right. Right. Stable relations. So uh, this has to be broken up into a few pages, but basically the, we get to make a make a chapter, which basically the way it calls a section here. We call a section for everything. Is that right? Is that okay? Yes. Now, now, now that you're listening to this, does this seem like something we can do online together, or does this seem like it's not a really good thing to do online? I don't know. I like. Uh, let's just see what we get. I don't. I, I. I don't know. I think keeping a record of it is good, no matter how you do it. Like you said, um, documentation. And um, it, 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 is it worth posting? I don't know. We'll see what people say. We can, like, if they leave comments and tell us what they think, it's, it comes down to, is it, it it's, like a, it's like a preview of the book that is going to come out, though, so they, they might find value in it. Okay. As far as I know, this is... I don't really want to focus on this because it's, it's as far as I know, it's 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 it doesn't require anyway. 
the question I first question I have then is we have when I get to the science, right? Right down here. The pros yeah. terms uh uh the science. I'm what I'm really saying, it's really the, the difference between logic and science, right? The unification of sciences. Right? That's what that section's about. Right. So right. what we've established at that point is what do we need? We need the method, the logic, and the first principles, right? Okay. And then we need them applied, right? I mean, it's just which is what the rest of the book does. So um, here we have what is the first principle, evolutionary computation, right? Uh, how is that computation performed, right? Um, here is the method. Now, people won't think, well, how, why is the method come before the evolutionary computation? Because the method, continuous recurrence of disambiguation, is just application of the first principle, right? Continuous recurrence of disambiguation. And um, the all right, so that's that's it. I I don't I don't why do I why do I want to talk about the our mission? In other words, uh, I had planned to be put a summary here, put summaries here, because right. we've talked about that, right? Does that make sense? Or should we just go, or should we just go right into the whole thing? Because... Yeah, I just answered my question. All right. That that's introduction material. And this stuff is this stuff is this stuff gets moved down here. Okay. I right, answer that question. All right. Now. Oh, how do I show that stupid thing? view why can't i see that toolbars any formatting that one normal can i do that there we go and this is view go to I think I'm going to make this a little bigger. Yes. Okay. But, um, and I'm going to shrink to do list templates, sidebars, that. <clears throat> Restoring intersexual markets. Boy, that one's going to get. <laughs> Introduction doesn't need to be talked about. Nice comeback, please. Sorry, it seems to be. Come on. Oh, come on. That's not a good noise. Oh, it's just this is. The quality of soft Microsoft software go, is directly proportional to the number of the amount of revenue. Obviously, Excel, then it's Word, and it's downhill from there. Hmm. I don't know why I can't get this to uh, do this, and then I have to do this. There we go. I don't need this. And I don't need this. And that might be useful. The program, the method. And it's okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do this online, Brad. There you go. I we just, don't. 
I just don't. I don't want to do it online. It's just too much. It's too much. I'll feel guilty about your wasting your time and the audience's time. I understand. Just so don't post them. That huh? works. That's it. Then don't make a post of it. All right. So should I shut this recording off or what? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'll try to do. I think what we should do is we can do an update on what we've done instead. In other words, when we meet. Right, we'll do an. We'll just show the audience an update of where we what we did, rather than dragging through it, because it's just stressing me out thinking about wasting everybody's time. That's right. Will that make you feel bad? No, I won't feel bad. Okay, all right. Uh, all of you guys, thank you for following. So it's what I will be doing is putting the book together, and I think what we'll do in our chats is our chats will be shorter; they'll be topical, right? And be discussing what we've done instead of doing it online. I think that's probably a better way of addressing the people than because I mean, what I basically need to do is sit here and just plow over this for like ten hours a day for. Why? That's just going to be what it does. It's right? going to take a minute. And it, the difference is I'll be happy doing it, sitting here, you know, listening to. I'll listen to some 90s rock, like Tool, and maybe some Led Zeppelin. There you go. You know, and life will be good, but I won't drag the audience through it. It's just, it's just not right. All right. I'm going to stop the recording. Remember to like, subscribe, bell. And well, not much to comment here, but comment if you can. Anyway, love you all. Thanks for following.